what, what, what the lady's is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? There's a video of a black guy manhandling a cop who tried to manhandle him. Family, I ain't talking about regular manhandling. I'm talking about <clears throat> slam. <clears throat> He didn't slap him up, but damn, he was close. The video starts off with the cop pushing the guy up against a wall. Looks like he's trying to make an arrest. The guy takes exception to how he's being handled, I guess, and he turns around and bows him. And that's when the cop tried to get really aggressive and, you know, he's just gonna like grab him and slam him. Man, dude turned around and Slammed him up against the car and threw him on the ground, took his taser and clap, clap, clap. He didn't do all that, but you know. Anyway, so there were a number of people who were saying, well, you know, way to go, by time, blah, blah, blah. And when I first started watching, I'm like, yeah, you know, because I'm thinking, you know, how this stuff normally turns out. They normally, you know, man how they and put the cuffs on you, shoot you, whatever they want to do. But this time, the brother gets the, the edge and the police officer needs assistance from other people that were there who helped wrestle him down. And, you know, the cop eventually put the cuffs on him. The story lacks context. So if you know anything about this story, you know where it happened at, who's involved, why it happened, please share with the rest of us. From what I saw, the dude was complying and at some point he felt like not complying for whatever reason. He turned around and gave dude the boy and then when dude tried to manhandle him, that's when he lost it. What's the ramifications for that? If you're already allowing yourself to be detained, if your life is not threatened, why are you becoming so aggressive with this beast? You already know how they play. Do fall down and slip. Oh, that's attempted murder on a police officer. You know how they do. They got the deck stacked. I'm not saying that's not a time to fight back, but I don't think that was the time. I didn't see any threat on his life. So why give them a freebie? Why they just why just give them a sit? Why put yourself in a situation where they're gonna automatically throw you in the pen and take you away from your family, take your freedom away? Why do that? We have to be smarter than everybody else. We, even when we know that they're dirty, they low down, and we know that we're being racially profiled, we got to keep our cool. We can't afford to get off our square. Ghetto Boys got a song called The Secret. You should listen to it. I can guarantee you, if applied, it could save your life. In my verse, I said, I know this cocksucker pulling me over because of my skin, but the secret is to win, so I hold it in. I'm yes, sir, no, sir, but when he pull off, he this, a motherfucking dick sucking redneck son of a bitch. So, in the past, I remember in my 20s, I, would, I bought a 400 Lexus. This is when they first came out. I mean, I'm rolling down the freeway, big. I just took it off the lot, get pulled over. I'm racially profiled, I already know what's about, and I'm mad. And I'm letting them know, man, what you pulled me over for? Big white dude, he ain't saying nothing at the time. I said, yeah, I said, I asked you why you pulled me over. I was just like, hey, give a damn. I mean, I was talking really reckless. Uh, I'll tell you in a minute. So I'm like, 
fuming. I want to get out the car. You know, I want to, you know, I want to get this food or whatever. And, and I'm just trying to maintain my cool. I'm just trying my best. But I'm hot. My partner in the other seat. So he finally come back. He said, uh, Mr. Dennis, the reason why I stopped you is because uh, this car met, uh, fit the description of a stolen vehicle. And I, I got stolen. I said, man, I, man, this car don't fit no description of no damn stolen vehicle. I just bought this car, man. I said, everything check out on this, you know? So he said, well, I'm sorry you should feel that way. Now, I, I just talk really, really reckless. Today, I wouldn't do that. Even knowing what I know, even knowing that I know that they're racially profiling me, I wouldn't do that. You can't beat the police in the streets. Well, you could, but you got to go all the way out and not worry about going to jail. You can't worry about your future or nothing like that. You got to just say, this is it. I don't give a damn. But if you want to play the state, then you get out of that situation. Anytime you're accosted by the police, anytime the police, you're, the police come at you for any reason, your number one goal is to get them out of your face as soon as possible. As soon as possible, get them out of your face. Get them around. Let them go somewhere else. Let them go harass somebody else. But you lay low, play the game, be respectful, even when you want to be disrespectful. Just be respectful as much as you can. You ain't got to say yes or boss and all that old dumb shit, but be respectful as much as you can. You can say officer. Officer is good. Uh, whatever the officer's last name, Officer Davis, whatever, that's good. You ain't got to be all that. If you don't feel like saying yes, sir, no, sir, you ain't got to say that. But be respectful and just get them out of your face. Because a lot of them, they already just, they're already on the edge. They want to do something. They want to hurt somebody. They want to kill somebody. So let them do it to somebody else. Let them fools skip you. Because if you come with the attitude, they're gonna be like, ah, this is it, you know? No, don't give them what they want. You know the traps are out there. I smart these fools. It ain't really hard to outsmart them, but you gotta control your brain. You gotta make sure that you control those buttons. We all have buttons. If a person knows which button to pit, push, and you give them the exact reaction that they were expecting, you don't control your brain, they do. You're not control of your emotions, they are. So when you push my buttons, you don't know what's gonna happen. What you think might happen, it might happen, but it ain't gonna happen when you think it's gonna happen. I'm constantly keeping my enemies off guard, and the, the element of surprise is the best weapon that you can ever have in war. So, yeah, dude played that wrong. These police come around here, man, just lay low, comply, just, you know, just deal with it, whatever, get out of that space. And you feel like you got to follow up with a lawsuit, complaint, whatever, you do that, but wait till you get off the streets. You're not going to beat the police in the streets. Unless you're willing to go all out. No more talk. What, what, what the ladies talking about?